Well, welcome to Dartford. My name is Jeremy and I'm the leader of the council here. Uh, you've probably heard about Dartford, but maybe for all the wrong reasons. Our Dartford Tunnel and our congestion, the M25. In fact, there's a lot more to the town than that. We're a brave old Kent Markish town with a big uh, tradition of retail, but over the years the recession's obviously played a big uh, part in the way that the town has declined a little bit. 30 miles in that direction is the West End of London, which obviously draws a lot of people out to the great shops there. And really interestingly, two miles in that direction, there's Blue Water, one of Europe's biggest shopping centres. That clearly has a massive impact on us. One of the things we're really keen to do with the bid money, if we get it, is to give talented young people from Dartford a chance to get into business themselves and open up a retail outlet. Of course, for many of them, they've got great ideas, but no ability to take on a shop straight away. But here in Dartford Town Centre, we've got exactly what they need. We've got a fantastic market on a Saturday, loads and loads of shoppers and potential customers, and the space to do it. And what we'd like to do is to give away pitches like this, right in the centre of the market, to new retailers to give them a start in the business. How great would that be? Can I ask you, have you heard of Mary Portas? Yes, I have, yeah. Do you know she does all the retail town centre stuff now? If we put a bid in to Mary Porter for some money to help Dartford, do you think that'd be a good thing? Brilliant thing. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, she's good. Even though I'm in retail myself, and sometimes you get some bad reports, but I think she would be absolutely brilliant. Just what Dartford needs? Yes, definitely. Thank she'd you very much. shake it up, definitely. Any assistance yes. you can get, any funding yeah, that yes, you can would. get would be wonderful for Dartford because it's looking pretty sad at the moment and yeah, it's not yeah. the Dartford I knew when I was a kid. The Dartford I knew was a real old Dartford with all the old buildings and I don't think you'll ever be able to restore that. But what I think would be very helpful to Dartford is to have a proper pedestrianised area with a correctly laid out marketplace. Look at towns like Norwich where they've got a wonderful market. Look at Leicester. Fantastic market at Leicester and it's always there and it's fun and supported by everybody from miles around. So we brought you here on a busy market Saturday to prove that Dartford's got a lot going for it. We've got the customers, we've got the support of the local community and they're all here in the town centre. But unfortunately Saturday just isn't a typical day. Our market brings people in but look what it's like on the rest of the week. I'm sure you're getting lots of bids from town teams all over the country talking about setting up Facebook pages and social networking sites. But look at this shop. Isn't it the original social networking site? If we get the bid money, what we'd like to do is to turn this place into the sort of place where builders and plumbers can come to put their adverts, where shoppers can come to take some basic skills training or get advice from organisations and groups, and this shopping mall itself. It's a great venue for shopping, but why couldn't it be a venue for other things as well? In Dartford, we've got scout groups, we've got brownies, we've got guides, we've got dog training classes going on, but they're all taking places in village halls and places outside of the town. Why can't we bring them in here? A dog training class inside this venue. What a fantastic attraction that would be. People walk up and down these streets all day long and they take the hoardings and the dilapidations for granted. But what a tragedy that is. With your support and a little bit of your money, what we'd really like to do is to turn this town centre into a venue. The sort of place where really good clubs can come. The Scouts, the Brownies, Slimming World, organisations like that who can meet here in the town centre, out in the open and give new life to the place. It could rescue places like this. The town centre shouldn't look like this. Hello, my name is Bob Peasman. I'm a director of a local firm of chartered accountants, Headley Dunk, which has been trading in Dartford for over 80 years. I also chair the town centre foreman, which represents independent businesses in the town, and we are firmly behind the Portas proposals and firmly behind the application by Dartford Borough Council to become a Portas town, to regenerate our town centre and bring back the economic vibrancy that was this town used to experience. Hello there, my name's Adrian, um, I run a business in the Ultra Centre in Dartford and I remember how Dartford has uh, changed over the years. Um, I used to, sc used to go to school around here and it used to be very, very busy but now it's uh, a very changed town. Um, I'm hoping that we can get some sort of regeneration going to get people to come down here again like they did in the old days to preserve its history. One of the positive things we want to do with the bid is to bring in some West End experts and their skills and offer some basic retail information to independent traders like this so that they can then pass those skills on to other traders. It's like a school for shopkeepers here in the high street. 
This really isn't a community that's on its knees. Over the last five years, our town team have done some fantastic things like build this brand new bandstand. We've renovated Central Park and put a cafe in it, new bridges across the river. We can really get things done. And what's crucially important is we've got the community right behind us. It's just that the high street is a real tough nut to crack.